What's up everybody? Welcome back. We're here working on the Mazda Protégé again. We're replacing the uh, lower control arms and I had a little bit of trouble with the first one so I just wanted to share my process in removing this with the second one. Um, basically the easiest way I found get that bolt loose. There's four bolts underneath. There's one for the uh, actual control arm itself and then there's one, two, three on a bracket. The bracket doesn't need to be loosened to get the old control arm out, but it is helpful in getting the new one in. Um, so I get all those bolts loose, then address the ball joint, which I just pulled the bolt out, sprayed it with some PB Blaster, stuck a big screwdriver in between this slot here, and I just worked it back and forth until it loosened up enough to just drop the ball joint right out. With putting the new one in, um, almost reverse process. I'll get this one in first, but I won't tighten it down. Get the rear of the control arm up in the bracket. The bracket bolts probably need to be loose for that. It helped me get it in there. Um, get it up in there. Don't put a bolt in it yet. Get the new ball joint in. And then get the control arm level. And I had to use a ratchet strap to pull this part of the control arm back enough to line that bolt up so I could get it threaded. Um, so if you have to replace a lower control arm on a Mazda Protégé, that's what I did and it worked the best for me. Um, I hope this is helpful to you. If you like the video or the information helps you, drop a like, subscribe for more. Uh, thanks for watching.